Okay, so as with all labs, the first thing to do is find a partner. Uh, each person should try to find one pair of programming partner if you can. It's fine if a few of you with a bit more experience want to work alone. Uh, no, 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 help. Okay, JP says it is not okay to work alone. Do not work alone. Uh, especially those of you who do have laptops, though, should try to find partners who don't, since I have not everyone. <laughs> machine tonight, and some people who brought them don't have all the code set up on them. So once you've uh, once you've found partners, I'm going to split all the partners into two groups. Uh, group one, who I have arbitrarily decided will be on my right, and we actually need a roughly even number of people doing this, so you actually have to be on this side of the room if you're in this group. Uh, so you physically move around if you want to do the other thing, but uh, you'll be writing an IRC bot that joins a channel and announces its presence. And uh, group A, so you know it feels like we're losing out here, uh, is going to make a web page that displays and edits users' statuses. So there's no authentication or anything, just you say what user you are and what your status is, and the web page will then display it. Then, uh, after that, the groups are going to uh, get together, so you want to form a pair of pairs. Two people, one pair from group A, one pair from group one. Um, so you can integrate your code together. Uh, now that's going to be four people uh, on each team at that point, so um, we'll form the head. Uh, there's uh, JP Calderon. <coughs> Uh, Imar um, and Mike over in the back there. You probably can't see because you're listening to my instructions. Uh, <laughs> but uh, they can help you out. There may be a couple other knowledgeable, twisted folks floating around who can help out, but those people uh, have explicitly volunteered. Um, the final product uh, of this exercise should be a web page where users can edit their own status and see others' statuses. And that web page should be connected to an IRC bot, which will announce status changes in an IRC channel. Whoa. Now, we have a sample available in case that explanation didn't make sense. That URL up there, which was on the first slide as well, um, we'll show you that. Um, you can connect your IRC client to either the testing channel that the the are wrong. Is that BMP or BPM? Ah, BPM. I knew I would get that wrong at least once. <laughs> Sorry, it should be BPM, Boston Python Meetup.tm.tl. Um, thank you very much for that. So, uh, with that one correction, uh, the channel middle there is for testing, so you can connect your broken algorithm code to it. And the second one is when you're done and you think you have something working, feel free to connect it there. Um, please note that your code needs to specify a password when connecting to this IRC server. Uh, it will accept any password as valid, but it will reject attempts to connect anonymously. Um, so, uh, especially if you're connecting with like a desktop client, which really expects that anonymous connections the way that IRC works, that might confuse you, so just enter a server password. Uh, now I'm going to go through a quick crash course in the additional concepts which will be useful in this lab. Um, I'm not too fond of slides which are packed with code and bullet points that the audience has to read through really carefully, but since I want to cover this material really quickly, uh, just dive into the lab and have various helpers answer your questions, that's what this is going to be. Um, so, uh, first, I'm going to do some tips for the IRC group. I'm going to do some tips for the web group. Uh, and finally, some tips for putting them together. Uh, you can feel free to go ahead and if you're in the other group, just get started hacking while I'm doing that. Um, and uh, you can go ahead and get started by reading the documentation. There are some useful documentation links on that link at the bottom, which is actually in the right order on this slide. Um, so you can go ahead and uh, read that. So, starting with IRC. Uh, IRC is, is 